This is Twit. What world are we now in where we have this technology? Where again, to me, this is an astonishingly complete and thorough response to my question, which it appears to have anticipated my confusion over the availability of TLS version 1.3 in Windows 10 and explained why there has been some confusion over the question. And I feel as though I should reiterate that this was not a model trained on this domain. It didn't know what I was going to ask. It could just as easily have answered a question about the optimal thread density in caftan robes. I mean, I mean, I'm astonished. So I, I, I think because I've spent some time in this domain, I've talked about this from all, we've come at it from a whole bunch of different angles on the podcast, and, and everyone is wringing their hands over AGI and questions of what it means to be conscious. Um, the, the emergence of these large language and large reasoning models, I, I think it's going to give cognitive scientists an entire new realm to explore. I mean, it's, that's great for them. It'll be, you know, it'll be interesting to see where that goes once we figure out exactly what we've created. But having watched ChatGPT work for those 50 seconds to produce that answer, an answer that would have never been possible to imagine just a year ago, I have finally settled upon where I believe we are with all this and why everyone, including me, has been so confused by this. It's because it's confusing. <laughs> there yes, are that's good. There are two distinctly different things here. On the one hand, we have an amazingly powerful linguistic simulation of an intelligent entity. And on the other hand, we have actually intelligent entities which produce linguistic outputs. And here's the problem. Both of these systems produce linguistic outputs, and the outputs of both systems are identical. The reason for this is that the intelligent entity linguistic simulator is an incredibly good linguistic simulator. It's really good at what it does. So no one considering just its linguistic output would have any means of determining that they were not seeing the output of the authentic intelligent entity whose earlier outputs were used to train the simulator. But in no way does that mean that the simulator is actually intelligent, nor is there any reason to believe that it is ever going to be. No simulation, no matter how good it is, is the real thing. The simulator may have been trained on the outputs of the real thing, but that's different from being the real thing. Cognitive scientists are probably falling all over themselves at the prospect of determining exactly to what degree a deep simulation of intelligence is and is not intelligence. But consider this. Although there is admittedly an interaction between thought and language, that's a whole, that's a realm of itself, of philosophy. For a truly intelligent entity, language is the means of of communicating the thought. The thought is the motivation which precedes its expression in language for the sake of communication. The difference is that the linguistic simulator has no preceding locus of thought. It is not inspired by thought to express that preceding thought. It simply simulates the result of previous thoughts that were then expressed in language and captured for its training. Without being unduly arrogant, I'm convinced that this is the crucial distinction 
that separates true thinking beings who use language as a tool and any language models that can never be anything more than empty language shells. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below. Security Now.